Welcome to another video in the series Basic Skills for Affinity Designer on the iPad. And this time we're looking at text around a circle or shape. Often in design we come across the need to place text around a circle or around a shaped object. And in this tutorial we'll learn how to place text around a circle or any symmetrical shape in Affinity Designer. So launch Affinity Designer on the iPad. If you wish to work on a transparent background, then check the transparent background checkbox. Pull out a circle and position it exactly in the centre. Turn on snapping and insert a vertical and horizontal guide for clarity if you are not really sure about the red and green lines popping up, because sometimes they do and sometimes they don't, depending on what else you are doing in the exercise. Now while tracing, hold two fingers on the screen to create a perfect circle. Fill the background with some colour, say 00CEC9. That's obviously in the hex colour scale. Pick the move tool and click on the circle to select it. Notice that the stroke width is set to zero. The option is referred to usually as text on a path. Now let's look at how this is done. Highlight the circle to use. Tap the text tool and select artistic text. Now you can see I've got the circle on the right selected because the bounding box is around it. Just ignore the one that says now is the time. We're going to ignore that for the exercise. That's just there for show, shall we say. We've got the other one selected. There's a vague colour inside it and art text is selected. Now you can see the red and green um, centre line there. We know that we're exactly dead centre in that circle. Now tap and hold momentarily on the edge of the circle. Not too hard, just hold your pen or finger perhaps on the edge of the circle. Just for a moment, two small green and orange rectangles, triangles I should say, appear on the edge of the circle, marking the start and end points for the text to be typed in a certain direction. The cursor blinks at the green triangle. So where that green triangle is, you can't see the cursor here, but there's a little cursor blinking. Now, this may be dependent on the size of your font. You can see down the bottom there I've got Paytone 1 selected, regular size, but it's only 0.6 in size. So obviously you need to increase that if you want to be able to read it. So I've set the text to Paytone 1 and about 18 point. Now initially the text appears on the outside of the circle. Just like that. Type in some words, say Battlestar Galactica for example. Remember, you can select the font you fancy, choose the appropriate colour, and also set the, set the font size as desired. The green triangle can be dragged around the circle's circumference to the point where you want the text to start. Your type text can reach up to the orange triangle, beyond which it flips over to the inside of the circle. The orange triangle is also draggable. So set the marks as you desire. Now you can see I've got the triangle, the red or orange triangle set a fair way around the circle there. If I brought that up and placed it between Battlestar and Galactica, then the word Galactica would be on the inside of the circle. Experiment with that and adjust it as you need it until you see how it works. And you can see there, I've added some more text. I've added text after the word Galactica. Press the space bar and start typing a new word United. Oops, as it closes the orange mark, the new text automatically flips position to the inside of the circle, beginning from the original green start point, but inverted and in an anti-clockwise direction. Another set of triangles, one darker green and one reddish, are auto-inserted 
onto the circumference. They're difficult to see there, but they are there. There's two green triangles and an orange and red triangle. You'll need to experiment with these carefully until you get used to exactly what they do. Now we need to complete the text, United Federation of Planets, inside the circle, and it has to be fit between the start and end points. For this we can either reduce the size of the font or reduce the spacing between them. Not a likely adjustment though. Or expand the area of the circle we traced out. Now there are two things about resizing the area. If you drag any corner handle of the selection, both the height and width resizes simultaneously without altering the size of the text on the path. But there is an extra dot which extends from the bottom right corner of the selection known as the scale handle. If you drag this, the text also scales along with the height and width of the object. So pick any approach, or both. Do the necessary adjustments and accommodate the appended text on your circle. And this is the text so far. We note that the text United Federation of Planets is written on the inside of the circumference. But what if we want it on the outside? Well this is how we do it. To place it along the outer path of the circumference, increase the baseline and here we slide it out to 32.1. So you go into text positioning, you can see the letter A on the toolbar on the side, click on that, then select baseline. Now in this case I've had to set it to minus 32.1 to get it exactly on the outside of the circle. I think it's very much an odd shaped or an odd sized circle. You can adjust those things so they're nice round numbers or you can just move it until it's exactly where you want it. And in the same way as this, artistic path text can be created from any line, curve or outline of a shape. And the final result? Battlestar Galactica, United Federation of Planets. Now what's wrong with that? Can you see what's wrong with that? The words Battlestar Galactica, the font is slightly smaller than the United Federation of Planets font. So I've left the size reduced or increased the size of the second part. They're just little things that you need to watch for. Thanks for watching.